You are live session with Mr. Alex in the mix. <laughs> Oh yeah. Hello. Party people. And welcome back. So many lovely people uh, today. I hope on YouTube. Good evening. And nice to see you again. It's Friday evening and we play Star Citizen Dogfight and we'll see what else because I'm into fighting today. Oh seven mighty citizens uh, and probably I'm gonna play uh I don't know, I think I'm gonna play with my car to all because I'm <laughs> I'm seriously insane with that ship. I'm actually insane with that ship to the void sir oh yeah salutare Horia salutare bine ai, reven bine ai venit domnul Horia <coughs> um, let's take the car to all and let's uh, engage in, into a dogfight and see what's happening uh, today it's a beautiful evening it's a Friday evening and I'm gonna, I don't know, maybe do some dogfight. Uh, probably most of the dogfight will be today. I'm usually a, uh, a medic. I like the medical rescue missions. But uh, I would prefer some dogfight. I don't know, for some reason. I, I, now I, I started to enjoy the dogfight uh, more and more. Ce faci, domnul Horia? Bună, bine ai venit aici la noi între oamenii fine. Uh, unde este cartoalo? Ia să vedem. Claim! Destroyed! Oh! A fost... Uh, a fost distrus. Pregătit de deschidere! Care deschidere? <coughs> hmm. Deschiderea... Cui? Des te dacă te referi la uh, noul update, să știi că... Um, a, ah, serverul de 5M uh, Sirix. Serverul de 5M Sirix. Uh, bravo, băieți, bravo. Uh, bă, nu e, nu e ușor să deschizi un server. Nu e ușor să bagi acolo tot felul de plugin-uri. Nu e ușor să găsești pe cineva care se pricepe la Java, scripting și prostii. Uh, nu e ușor. Acolo e muncă, frate. E muncă. Și am înțeles că serverul vostru ar fi medium roleplay, eu cred că ar trebui să-l faceți advanced roleplay. În primul rând, să zic și de ce, pentru munca pe care o depuneți, ar trebui să-și merite un pic mai mult uh, rank acolo. Uh, eu din păcate nu o să pot să intru, eu nu mai, nu mai joc 5M și nu am timp momentan. Uh, dar probabil dacă voi avea... Uh, Ocazia să intru, să văd cum se mișcă și ăla cu mare plăcere. Uh, da, da. Serverul e Intermediate Roleplay. Cum e Intermediate Roleplay? La gen... Uh, cum e Intermediate? Easy Roleplay, adică gen... Nu te stresezi cu genul că... Zici în o, o ce, Zici IC... Ce faci o ce? Like, nu e nici mediu, nici hard. A, ah, e cam așa, uite, cam și pe, uite, și aici pe jocul ăsta pe care îl joc. <coughs> Se poate face roleplay, dar nu e gen 5M. E, oricum, predomină mai, mai mult roleplay-ul aici în joc, că vine natural. Deci nici nu te stresezi. Hmm. Am 91 de minute aici. <coughs> Ieșim un pic la bătaie. Nu uitați să dați un subscribe acolo, mă ajută foarte mult. Știu că e greu. Uh, <coughs> subscribe și like. 
dar ajută foarte mult uh, și pagina mea de YouTube. Hai să-i, să batem o dată algoritmul ăsta pentru că e foarte greu să fie descoperit și pe YouTube, cum e și pe Twitch. Și de fapt ca pe orice altă platformă, de fapt. Angar 3. Uh, Hangar 3 Mutai, salutare omule, salutare Hai când intri, când intri aici în joc uh, Hangar 3 <coughs> ha, Let's go, let's go, let's go The only issue The only two issues about this ship The cartoal This is an alien ship. It's, it's very fast in a fight. The only two issues, when I spawn it, it looks like this. Yeah. <clears throat> Or it's kind of uh, difficult to uh, land it. And the second issue is the second monitor inside of the ship, I'll show you. I cannot use it. It's not, it's not working. This, look. This monitor here doesn't work. When I press menu, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. And that's it. Shields critical. Ooh. Păi tu faci uh, numai PvP, eu sunt praf și pulber. <coughs> Momentan. A, nu, nu fac numai PvP. Nu, acum am început așa, m-am dat un pic pe PvP. Dar în mare parte fac uh, search and rescue, uh, mutai. Eu fac search and rescue, am, am două nave, am trei nave pentru uh, medic, am carac, am caracul, am... Uh... Bă, stai un pic aici, ceva? Stai un pic aici, că e o problemă cu... Nava asta atât de rapidă că se și controlează greu. <coughs> uh, am carac, am Catlas Red și am și C8 Rescue, C8 Rescue, înțelegi? <coughs> Uh, fac uh, multe misiuni uh, din asta de search and rescue. Acum, în schimb, am început așa un pic pe PVP. <coughs> să mă mai învăț puțin. Dar uh, eu sunt mai mult pe treaba asta. Ia uite, bă. Nu stă, mă, nu stă, uite. Tot cade pe o parte. Asta e problema la cartoal. <coughs> Am și eu cara că mi a dat un loc la Odyssey până iese. Odyssey. A odyssey nu e la cu module? la nou? Mamă, ce mi, mi se pare mișto ăla. Ai trei module pe Odyssey. Ai de storage, <coughs> ai de medical și... Mai e ceva, dar nu mai știu. Apprehend. Apprehension, Stanton. E nu e apprehend, this guy? Uf, 30 million, na. <coughs> nu e ăla, e Explorer. E ăla Explorer. Aaa, ah, deci nu e ăla cum... Ok. <coughs> Eu nu l-am. Dar cum îl ai? Cine ți l-a dat? Sau cum îl ai? <coughs> nu mă duc după ăsta că e departe. A, ah, am înțeles. <laughs> da. Așa da. <laughs> Ce 500 de euro în ziua de azi? Dacă stai să te gândești.
Hmm. I have like two of them uh, are on Hurston, but I cannot go there. <coughs> I should... Let me jump to... Uh... Yeah, my spawn point was here. Let me actually... Let me think about something. Now nah, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna do some missions here on uh, Crusader. I don't really like this location, but I'm gonna do it here. Acum e 700? Wow. Nu pot să sar. Stația asta cumva mă pune să... <coughs> mă pune să sar la stația asta. Mă pune la stația asta prima dată. Deci n-ar trebui. Nu pot să sar. <coughs> Și Origin 600 Explorer l-am luat cu 300 și acum e pas. Dar de ce ți-ai l-ai luat? De ce, de ce ți-ai luat uh, alea? Eu nu prea sunt folosite. Sunt, uh, nu te ajută mai cu nimic. Sunt doar uh, gen să <coughs> să te plimbi cu ele, știi? Nu, nu, nu sunt pentru altceva. Eu cred că navele alea ar fi bune doar uh, în, în momentul în care să zic că le ai pe toate și, Mă rog, pe toate, o mare parte și celelalte le ții, așa, știți, la eveniment Mâine, <coughs> Fighter nu se merite cu bani real, costă puțin în joc Da um, <coughs> Mâine fac eveniment uh, cu toate navele 80-90 Uh, vreau să adun cât mai multe nave de 890 în, uh, în joc Toți uh, admiralii sunt bineveniți uh, uh, Vreau să strâng un număr de vreo 50 uh, de nave Um, vrem să adunăm toate navele de 890 Cât mai mulți să fim Și să ne distrăm așa O ocazie bună pentru socializare Și nebunii um, Anul trecut am mai făcut Evenimente cu 890 uh, <coughs> Diverse evenimente Am avut vreo 4 înainte de Wipe În aceeași lună cu Wipe-ul A fost foarte fain Am avut uh, un eveniment în care Am adunat, am umplut uh, nava Cu uh, mai mulțoaie, cu picouri <coughs> am avut vreo 200 de picori, cred că la un moment dat Mi se pare că încă mai am poze um, Am avut um, gen, trebuia să mă găsească ăștia pe nav, niște oameni, știi, și cine mă găsea și mă prindea, lua niște bani, nu știu A fost um, search de VIP sau ceva de gen, nu mai știu <coughs> uh, Facem multe chestii, sunt, e, sunt multe lucruri de făcut în joc dacă ai cu cine, înțelegi? Următoarea pe care vreau e un Idris. Mamă. <coughs> ăla... N-am ce să zic ăla. Aia e navă, frate. Aia e... Aia e... 
cum să spun ție. Uh, Aia <coughs> Ai navă, nici nu știu, e una dintre navele mișto și puternice, bagă, dacă bagă NPC în joc ar fi, băi, NPC-urile o să le bage, am înțeles, <coughs> nu știu când, îmi cer scuze că tot ușesc, dar de vreo 3 săptămâni tot ușesc, <coughs> simt așa, din, din plămâni, așa, nu mă doare nimic, nu îmi curge nasul, nu mă doare capul, n-am nimic, nu mă tușesc, și m-am și lăsat de fumat ca să, să ne înțelegem. <laughs> uh, da, nu știu. <coughs> uh, dar sunt uh, <coughs> unele nave destul de interesting. Chiar, chiar mișto rău. Stai că n-am mai jucat de vreo două zile și mi-a mișit un pic din mână, nu mai pot să mai controlez nava. <coughs> Trebuie să sar aici Să că uh, nava mi se ducea prin atmosferă. Băi, uh, e destul de rapid. Oi, mon. Dirty K. Să la el, Ok, let's jump. Um... Ok, 
ce naiba nu pot să sar mai aici? Uite, asta e un bug nou <coughs> în care nu pot să selectez locația unde vreau să sar. Nu mă lasă efectiv să sar, uite știu. Ce aiurea? Stai așa, dai mari acolo. <coughs> Băi, ia să sar un pic de aici, că mă, mă enervează zona asta. Nu-mi place deloc aici la Horizon, deloc urăsc Horizonul. Toată lumea urăște Horizonul. Uite, abia acum. Vrea să mă îndepărtez mai mult. A, ah, și New Babbage. Nici o, mie nu-mi place pe planetă deloc. Uh, evit foarte mult să mă duc pe planete. <coughs> What the fuck? Uite, uh, încă o chestie. Când vreau să sar, cumva încearcă să sară și mi se oprește. There is a huge lag on the server. <coughs> Hello, Whippy. Can you hear me? Check, check, mic, check. Q. 
Can you hear me? Check, check. Ooh. Whoa.
Mi se încarcă laserele la timp. Da, știu, știu, se vede <coughs> puțin cam ciudat. Oh, bă, ce... Bă, dar ce naiba zici că mă lovesc de ceva invizibil? Ia uite și tu! Uite, vezi? Zici că parcă... Uite, 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 uite și tu ce face. Uite, uite, îmi ia... Efectiv nu pot să controlez nava aici, nebun, uite. Păi la 28 de G... Ia uite. Nu pot să mă bat. Ia 
Trebuie să mă rezolv din viteză, nu știu. Uite, uite, băi, ești... Uite, uite și tu, nu poți să controlezi nava, ești... I'll see. What is this? Mouse to stature? Sound joystick? No, I'm with mouse. Oh. Nem tudom mit. <coughs> Navea mea schimbat singură direcția. Încercam să trag în ea și dintr-o dată se duceau laserele în altă parte.
să fie de la faptul că el trecea pe lângă tine și te destabiliza. Nu! Să nu e ca și cum ești în aer, în atmosferă și ineția aia sau vântul ăla, știi? Uh, n-are nicio treabă, aia nu te... aia nu ți afectează... <coughs> Nimic. Pur și simplu... It doesn't automatically slow you down and conserve your, it, your power. Hmm. Apa nox, what the fuck? Very, very weird. I've never had this issue before. That's the that's the thing. Also, there is this bug where when the platform is delivering the ship, you cannot move, and that is not good. <coughs>
Nu știu, să vedem cum se simte acum. <coughs> nu, asta e în live, e în live. <coughs> nu m-am mai stresat cu PTU pentru că e bătaie de cap. Right. <coughs> păi și mă, tu ce, ce faci în joc? Ce, care e? <coughs> Ce-ți place să faci? Pe la Bounty Hunting am reușit să mor și la vele retre target <coughs> Pentru puțin mai mult Bunker Mission Ah! Poți să faci de bani frumos la Bunker Mission dacă... <coughs> dacă vinzi arme Nu mai e rut. De ce? <coughs> A, de la ultimul wipe. Stai, ce? S-a activat ăsta? Ales un joc uh, când joc singur de la un timp te plictisești. A, da, înțeleg. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Păi nu merge asta din dreapta, acum s-a activat singur. Dar totul nu pot să apăs pe meniu. Știi și nu pot să văd statusul ăla. Doamne, ce... Mamă, unde a sărit? Pe păi asta am încercat să fac și... Dar n-am avut problema asta, nu știu ce s-a întâmplat. I'm gonna try to do something.
<coughs> Încă nu am confirmat locația. Stai că nu mai vă marc. <coughs> Când trece pe lângă tine se simte puțin dacă e așa, dar nu mult, un pic, de, o mică zguduială, dar nu cum era înainte, cum s-a întâmplat mai devreme. Bun, mai am șelduri. Nu dispărut. <coughs> Probabil, dar nu, că n-are cum așa dintr-o dată din sine. Uite-l, uite-l, uite-l. Oricum, erou e o armă, <coughs> eu au, e o navă destul de bună, eu, eu știu cum am.
Bravo, bravo. <coughs> bravo. Am, am și erou. Pot să joc și cu erou cu el. Are mai mult damage erou decât am eu. Doar că mai rapid. A, pe Ero ai 4 laseră, 2 de 3 și 2 de... Mi-am pus un pic de coniac. Hai noroc și sănătate. Vali Valentin, mersi de subscribe, salutare, bun venit, omule. Hai să scot erou. În asta am încredere maximă, eu știu. Da, pentru răceală, că nu <coughs> vezi că trăiesc, că cătușesc, că, că nu mai pot să vorbești, că sunt așa. <coughs> Antes în bulux. Nice. Și joc fără gimbal. Păi repeat-ă-l-am, repeat-ă-l-am. Pure size 3 plus 2 ori size 1. De, uh, Bulldog, Panthers, Reno și Atricians uh, sunt uh, lasere las, las, repeater. Îmi ce scuze dacă mai combin româna cu engleza, dar e fără să vreau. <coughs> Uite, Anvilaro, Light Fighter. Angar 4 <coughs> Vorbesc în engleză pe jocul ăsta Pentru că majoritatea sunt englezi <coughs> Majoritatea vorbesc engleză Și suntem prea puțini români care jucăm uh, 
Star Citizen um, Și, na, mă adaptez după, după piață cumva uh, Când făceam stream pe Facebook, acolo eram doar în română, că așa era toată comunitatea, știi, mă jucam altceva Dar aici, uh, cel puțin pe jocul ăsta <coughs> Ușor cum simul meu e bilingual, deci pot să și și, știi, ca să, să fie ok. Ia uite aici. Am, am, am. Și asta e rapid, să știi. Și asta e o navă destul de rapidă. La wipe acum am înțeles că iau ăștia tot uh, USC uh, Data trecută pe, în vară când a fost wipe-ul După Invictus uh, S-au dat Știi cum s-a calculat? S-a calculat gen cei care au jucat mai mult timp Au primit câteva milioane Eu am primit vreo 25 sau 35 Și tot așa Dar după aia s-au dat seama că nu e bine Și au... Eu am, atunci m-am am dus în prima zi, m-am dus și mi-am luat un C2 Practic unele nave pe care le am de atunci Ca să înțelegi, C2 și încă una sau două, nu mai știu Cred uh, Și m-am dus și mi-am luat C2-ul Că am zis că bă, cu ăla fac bani După aia s-a dat restart din nou la bani Doar că navele cumpărate au rămas cu banii ăia <coughs> Și s-a dat înapoi S-au dat din nou bani, dar numai un milion la fiecare <laughs> Și eu Și am revenit după câteva luni în joc Și tot un milion aveam în cont, știi? Și după aia am început să Fac și o treabă pe aici <laughs> Da, deci până la urmă Le-a dat la toți un milion Nu, nu ne-a convenit că Nu ne place când Știi, când îi zic într-un fel și fac altfel
<coughs> Probabil tot așa un milion. Oh, no more shield.
<coughs> Mutai, ai uh, 890 lui scuze mă vreau să-l bag pe asta de data asta <laughs> Să facem egal Aștept mâine, la ora 6 seara o să fie Eu o să intru mai devreme Dacă vrei să vii alături de noi, te așteptăm Poți să vii cu protecție, dacă ai navă de bătaie De fapt, ai zis că nu faci PVP Sau dacă nu, poți să vii Să Ne asiști sau Cum vrei tu Seara faină, numai bine Ah, que mal de música.
Ooh. More shields. Hmm. Wow.
Yeah, you're good. You're yeah, very good. He's pretty damaged, he's more damaged than me, but... Wow! Wow! <sighs> GG! GG
Big bad. Whoa. Get those thumbs for up for this amazing guy. Hey man. What you doing, sir? Don't crash. Nah, I'm not crashing. Hopefully. Just popping by before I have to go for work, sir. <coughs> you going to work now? I are you in US or which country? Or you work night shift? Bedroom working. Ah. Okay. Night shift. <coughs> I used to work night shift as well a while ago. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Please visit us again. Hangar 6. <laughs> graveyard shift uh like as people like to call it yeah <laughs> <clears throat> one thing uh, about the banu i have four size three uh, lasers and i can also focus my shields in front of the ship not uh because arrow has uh all everywhere this one has back end uh, in the back end in the front and I'm gonna focus all my shields in front because we usually shoot from the front of the ship. <coughs> this will be uh, much interesting. Um, I'm gonna put. Wait. I'm gonna. What should I push? Should I put a target maybe here? target here or maybe no my shields i'm gonna put my shields actually yeah uh not this one yes this one against oh i actually have this over there wait and I'm gonna put here the um, target detector. You are clear to launch. Yes. Oh man. Listen. <coughs> this is a very good ship. So I'm going to focus my shields in front of the ship. So when he's shooting, uh, I'm going to have double power on my shields. Let's 
let's see where my guy is. He has a red mark on him as well. I don't think I'm gonna miss him. Oh wait, I will miss him actually. Ah. I don't know what is he flying though. Ah, it's pretty a blade. Okay. I also have a spider blade. <coughs> I didn't use it much.
Let's let him come. <coughs> Wow! Nice. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, very nice fight with this guy. I really like to <coughs> play with him. He killed me twice. I've killed him only once. He's 2 1. He's the winner. Nice. I don't know, should I try to uh, play with Esperia? <clears throat> I didn't really use this uh, ship much, so uh, I'm not very confident with it. Uh, I look away for two minutes and you die? Yes! Don't look away anymore! <laughs> Stop looking in other uh, ways, man. Stop doing it. You see what's happening? I die, people die. People just die. <coughs> Innocent people die. Eh? You understand just i mean i'm not that innocent but just saying you know i'm just chilling here apprehend ectic i don't know welcome to the asoc vehicle retrieval system esperia blade 20 seconds. Uh, my wife cooked some uh, soup uh, two days ago. And now I'm hungry and I'm thinking about that only. Oh my days. You're the medic under us, so you should not let people die. I should not let myself die, actually. <coughs> Now I'm just, <coughs> I'm just uh, exercising as well as um, in a combat situation because I don't really do combat because I like to um, save people instead of killing them, <laughs> you know, and um, yeah, but I'm also trying to uh, be a good fighter, you know, this is a Sperdia Blade, I like this ship. I like the shape of it, it's so alien, you know? But I still don't understand the... Um, I still don't understand the... It's firepower, you know? I still I still don't understand what's... What's the thing with the, this ship, actually? Launch. 
Oh. Seem more like uh, harm harm assist than a farm assist to me. Harm harm assist. <laughs> this is a good one. Harm assist. Damn, I'm doing. I like to. Uh, I like to do uh, <coughs> search and rescue. I can show you. Let me do some bounties, and I can show you if uh, if you want how I do it. It's pretty fun, and I, I really enjoy that. And you don't die much. I mean, it's just. Uh, This is called wasp, but it sounds and it shoots. Uh, it feels like I shoot with freaking uh, ballistics. If you see on the right hand side here, uh, warlord, war, warlord, and wasp. Wasp uh, shoots like it's ballistics, but it's not ballistics. It's actually laser, and lore, warlord is like some type of cannon. Uh, yeah that's very interesting it's a very interesting ship i like it um <clears throat> it doesn't have i'm not sure how much firepower it has though but it's it's an insane ship alien ship for fuck's sake look at it look at this ship it's so beautiful i really i i like alien ships i like alien ships more than the human ships than the yeah <clears throat> But I don't like this red uh, interior, like the, the red screen, it is not... I mean, I like it, because this is how the ship is, but I don't... It's not very um, clear, you know? Um, they, they need to make it a little bit more clear, like... Because it feels like it's blurry or something, I don't know, maybe it's my from my settings or something. So... I fly an Eclipse. I'm entirely the wrong person to talk about it. <laughs> I, I deal in excessive violence. Yes. <laughs> and I deal with some cognac. Ah. I'm like a true viking. <laughs> I'm not like a true viking. <clears throat> Blurry vision, the price for not being a human engineer in, in, enjoyer. It is blurry. They're going to change it in the future because of the blurry stuff. Yeah, I mean, uh, I can't even distinguish uh, what it's written on the screen. Uh, I mean, I know what is written because I have seen it so many times, but it's not, it's not that clear, you know? I don't know. Uh, they, they need to do something about it. But the part of this one, I like the menu, it's okay. Um, I can't complain about the menu, to be honest. <clears throat> it's a good menu. Uh, okay, let's see what kind of missions we have here. I didn't see any service beacons. <clears throat> Let me do a bounty hunter, a group of bounty hunters. Have a great stream, my friend. Have a good one, Mr. Big Bad. <clears throat> and see you next time. Have a lovely evening at work, mate. Uh, I'll be here playing the game while you're going to work. Don't worry about that. Uh, everything is all right here. Oh seven, sir. Oh seven. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's see <coughs> if I'm able to destroy the bounty. This bounty is uh, with this ship only. It should be fun. It feels like it shoots like with high firepower because this is how the the lasers are like like bam 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 you know. But, I don't know. 
I've played with this ship only once or twice. I I don't I don't know exactly, but it's it's interesting to play with. But I still don't know the firepower, so I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna play a few times and I'll see. Uh, yeah, I'll just see. I think what the I think the warlord. This one is like is deactivating the shields or something. It's not. I mean, it's not a uh, distortion. That's the thing. <laughs> Look at this ship. This this ship is such a beautiful ship. Look at it. Look. Anvil Valkyrie. Ah, -hoo -hoo. Oh, it feels so bad in the atmosphere, dude. Oh, my days. Ooh. Oh wow! I can't. Oh shit! I can't control this ship very good in the atmosphere. Can I take these guys out in space? Maybe I'll have a better chance here. Ah, these guys are coming after me. I don't have gimbals on this ship, so... Huh? Oh wow, hello.
Oh shit, and I still didn't kill the, the main guy. Oh yeah. Oh no. Nice. I'm gonna drink some cognac meanwhile. To enjoy a better fight. This one is a pretty fast ship as well.
Oh yeah. Nice. Hello. Nice. Now let's go and kill the bad guy. One of them. The main one. Shields. Oh, okay, okay. I hear you, bro. You're dead. Shit. Yeah, shit. Oh, yeah. I can speed run HRT group bounties in about 10-15 minutes. It's called using a stealth bombing, run three times and cheesing the game. Uh oh yeah. I mean with the <coughs> if you think about it. Um uh, what the fuck? If you think about it with Eclipse. You can go and finish your uh, mission. No, uh, with, uh, you can go and do this. Yeah. Kill the bad guys. But the thing is, there are like four uh, bad guys, you know, not three. So you can't use three torpedoes on them. It's not enough. Retaliator has six, but believe me, you don't want to play with Retaliator alone. It's that ship really flies like a brick that one like really feels like a brick seriously 
<coughs> that one really feels very weird. By the way, I have checked for group bounties, you only need to get rid of three marked criminals for the contract to complete. The rest is just random AI escorts. I know those ones are escorts, but... <coughs> <coughs> this is what I did yesterday. No, not yesterday. Two days ago, yeah, with you. I've killed the main ones. Yeah, the marked ones. But the contract wasn't complete. So for some reason. Now I f I really feel like an alien on this planet with no atmosphere. I think it's a moon. Let me kill the main guy. Guess what? This is armistice zone, so I can repair my ship. Hey! Oh! Whoa! General Ass Kicker, a floating head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was thinking to change my nickname from Mr. Alex to Floating Head. I I like to. I like to um, <coughs> uh, play with the green screen. Ooh. Why is he shooting? He shouldn't be able to shoot in the armistice zone. Why? Will you be playing the Starfield when it comes out? Oh, yes. I look forward for Starfield. <coughs> the only thing about the Starfield is that one thing that I, I don't like. It's single player. So it's not like Star Citizen. Uh, I think that one is just uh, doing missions and stuff. You know you're, you're dead, but you just don't admit it.
Nice. One thing that I like about this game, the explosions. <coughs> also, oh, Contra Complete, Bounty Assignment. I think you're right to that name. I think I just need to kill these bastards first and... <coughs> oh, that's true, it's uh, from the same people who made Skyrim and followed. Oh, really? I didn't play... Uh... No, no, I didn't play those two games. I know them, but I didn't play them. They only make single player games, I think. Have you tried the VR before? Oh no, but I'd like to. <clears throat> I have tried VR on the um, Montan Rus. Yeah, to see how it is. But it didn't I didn't really enjoy that to be honest. Um But I'd really like to uh, play some VR games. <coughs> um the thing with the VR for me <coughs> It, I don't feel uh, the effect of the VR on me because I am used <clears throat> I am used with the with the games a lot and uh, it doesn't really give me any feeling for example if I'll have to I don't know fall from a building with a VR I'm not gonna feel that sensation because uh, <clears throat> I'm used with the graphics and games and stuff and uh, yeah I'm, I'm not I, I will not be affected I've tried a few times and eh that VR should be very very good in order to make maybe a 3D VR <clears throat> maybe if, if it's a 3D VR then maybe I will have a better feeling but with a 2D uh, no not really Actually, wait. Uh, let me go to Grimhex. <clears throat> Should I do more uh, bounties? <clears throat> let me do more bounties. Maybe it's more, more fun. <clears throat> A rooster, hectic, parent. This ship is not bad actually. <clears throat> Where is this guy? Should I try to kill this guy? Should I try to find this guy? If he's far, I'm not even bothered to find him. He's a freaking Hurston. I mean, bounties are the most engaging content next to Merc stuff. <coughs> so you guys like me, would like me to play more bounties, like uh, more PvP instead of doing uh, medic. Medics, it's chill. Doing medical stuff is chill. You can. Um, I mean, I like it. It's true, it's not very engaging as this one, like when you do PvP. It, I can give you that. But I was trying, you know, to mostly chill with the game. Can I jump over here? <laughs> wow. 32 millions. I'm wondering how much time I need to jump to this location, like 10 minutes? To Hurston? <sighs> okay, party people, it's Friday evening. Put your hands up in the air and let's go.
you are live session with Mr. Alex in the mix. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Nineteen million. That's very, very sad. My Banu Defender is actually equipped with a uh, nice uh, <coughs> quantum jump, quantum drive. Uh, but <coughs> I didn't do anything to my... Um, to this ship. Uh, because it doesn't work to it. So <coughs> I, <coughs> I can't even change the... Um, um the, sorry the weapons Pam pam pam. Collateral damage. I'm wondering if this guy is still here. It's, it shows that he's still here, but I don't know. What do you guys think? <coughs> I'm gonna take like 30k maybe on him. This is what the price was on his head. I believe. Yeah, 30k. Not bad. <coughs> Imagine that after the wipe, we need to grind again and make some money again. Where is where is he? On Ita. This alien ship doesn't have any special effect on well when he's when it's jumping in quantum drive. Quantum jump, sorry. I like to call it not quantum jump i like to call it hyperspace for some reason maybe maybe because i've watched star wars and star trek too much and they were always saying like um activate the wait wait activate the hyperspace hyperspace activated yeah something like that <laughs> that guy is somewhere over there Oh, 
Okay, let's hunt. Wow, this ship is also fast. <coughs> it has the similar the same speed as the Cartwal when in full speed. Now it's full speed. It doesn't f actually feel it. You can't even feel it like that. I'm wondering this guy is on the planet is what is he doing? He's a bot, he's an NPC, he's a freaking player what do you think this is so sad i'm about halfway to a million just before the wipe i say player i think he's a player as well yeah because it says apprehend over here it says when it says apprehend it's a player on other bounty hunting hunters is it doesn't say it's just say wanted uh bounty blah 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 but when it says apprehend even this one look yeah he has 30k though uh, he has a nice crime stat maybe crime st oh 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 no He freaking jumped away to Magda. <clears throat> Maybe I have a chance to catch him here because he. Oh, do you know what he did? <coughs> he jumped. He stopped his uh, ship between the. Yeah, he jumped to Magda. Hmm. I don't have enough quantum fuel. Where did he go? Let me jump here. Oh wow, wait. I need to jump halfway. Ah. Who is this guy? Oh look, 134 kilometers. Let me check. There's no other place to jump apart of these ones. I'm wondering what kind of ship he has. He's going on the planet? <sighs> you know what will be interesting? If someone is hunting you. So for example, if you have a crime stat and someone is hunting you. Uh, you should be able to see who's hunting you as well like who took the bounty on you uh you shouldn't be able to see the mark though as you see now but you, you should be able to see the bounties uh the bounties hunter uh, name i don't think it's a good idea though but just you know uh at least you know who's hunting you you know i'm not sure if it's a good idea or not but i think could be interesting 
to know who's hunting you. You only need to know the name, that's it. You need to know who is the person. Yeah. This guy can jump to OM2 very easy. He is a player. Oh, now I need the freaking torpedo. He's on the. Oh, he's going on the planet? Wait. How do I become stealth? Why there are NPCs over there? Look. Wait, what the fuck? Dude, she jumped like very far. Oh my day, she's a freaking crusader now. Nah, I'm gonna. Okay, if I want to do something good, <coughs> I should uh, go with my freaking. Uh... Uh, Banu Defender because um, because I have more fuel so I can and I'm also faster than this ship <laughs> Banu Defender has 2750 quantum fuel and I, I think I've also upgraded to uh, with the quantum drive so Instead of trying with this ship. Plus with Banu it's much interesting. I can uh, adjust the the shields much better. Uh. Guys, don't forget to drop a subscribe and don't forget to drop a like over there. Likes are very important. I know. They should take away the likes on uh, YouTube, actually. Because I don't like to ask for likes. But I have to. Like, like, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Stealth is turning off everything not vital. And suppressing your AR via the panel. Uh, objective failed. Neutralize Ectric. Yeah. Maybe someone else kill him. Is is it like uh, multiple people can take the same contract? Because once you you took the contract, nobody else should be able to do it. But it's it seems it seems that multiple people are able to do it. I didn't play with Vandul much, just a little bit, and I'm I want I'm not very impressed about the ship. It's um, you can ram other ship. Oh look, I like this uh, 
kind of landing pad landing gear actually oh wow look it looks like these are the the what are they call the the lungs of the where it keeps the lungs and shit nice imagine having an um uh, a ship imagine having a ship that is um like the with the interior like this one but it should be um how it's called um organic ship from a different type of uh, a factory it's different type of uh, alien i don't know but should be organic like uh, i don't know it can regenerate by itself much faster um they should add other lasers the ones that are they have like uh, they are like a beam you know similar with the tractor beam because these are laser repeater but they are not uh yeah variations of not only of this ship of the freaking uh, alien ships um <coughs> i'm gonna claim this one your insurance claim has been sent esperia blade it would be very interesting to have yeah even variations of uh, of of a specific ship would be very good Welcome to the oh meanwhile let me um claim the freaking 80 90 jump claim has been 22 minutes nice uh i don't need it today but in case i'm gonna need it yeah what do i have here i have some pretty nice armor and stuff <coughs> I have a pledge armor as well, but I think I'm gonna switch to uh, medium armor. I like it. I like how how it looks nice. It looks much better than the um, the big one, the heavy one. Plus, you can see of, uh, on the bottom. You know, when you hold something in your hand, you can see. With the heavy armor, you can't because you have the. <laughs> The freaking neck collar or what is called that I also have pistols. I've never used them though. Ravager. Ah, this is a uh, Ubarev. Interesting. I mean, I can run faster. I can do stuff. Should I go and do bunkers with the pistol? Wow. That will be... Let me try to do a bunker with a with a pistol only. <clears throat> I 
Hangar 7. I should change the <coughs> the legs though because I look weird. Heavy armor. Yeah, at least I, I have a full white. And maybe. Oh, yeah. Nice. White and red. Not bad. If you ask me. So I put my my gun in the <coughs> on my armor, but he's still trying to uh, use it. I feel like it's a drop frame. Now. There is a drop frame. Uh, I don't remember which one was the... <coughs> Missing person's report. Maintenance. But mer I think it was mercenary. Ah, evict illegal. Assist in defending site. It should be... Uh, yeah. This one. Bunker is under provide backup. And that personal, I have few of them. Mine were taking blackout, blackout. A sound of silence, a ray hack. <clears throat> Ah, those ones. Yeah, you're right. Actually, the one with uh, the uh, um, yeah, this one. I didn't do this ones. <coughs> I I have avoided to do these ones because um, I actually wanted the dog fight. But let me try. Plus, it's here on this planet, so it's pretty near. <coughs> I don't have to jump very far. <clears throat> See, this one has 2750 current fuel, which is very, very good.
I hope that the turrets will not shoot. <coughs> Because one of the main problems is when you go and you have a mission on, on that bunker, the turrets will start, will, will start shooting. They should start shooting at people that have no mission over there. It's annoying. Yeah, that's the that's the problem. That's why I I had to upgrade my um, medical ship uh, strategy because medical rescue strategy because uh, <coughs> of this. So I I have a, a rover and a C8 rescue in a C2. This is how I do rescue because I don't have other option. <coughs> I'd prefer to do it with my Cutlass Red only, but this is on if the turrets will freaking stop shooting, you know? When this will happen, then it will be more easy for me to do rescue missions. But if they keep shooting, I can't do it. <coughs> Look, restricted area. Honestly, they should give medics a proper career path and give them immunity to that sort of stuff. E I can agree with you, yeah. <coughs> Do you think they will start shooting? If they start shooting, then I have a problem because... Uh... Do you know what's the distance between that hill and this one? It's a little bit over 1000 meters. I've been here before. And this is when I've realized that I need to upgrade my uh, medical rescue. They'll shoot. Uh, the same thing I did last time when I was helping uh, a player. Yeah, I was um, doing a mission here. I mean, I was trying to save him, and I had to do the same freaking thing. I had to land very far from this place. Look at the turrets, man! They shoot like crazy. The interesting thing is like my ship looks like Batman on in the shadows. Oh shit, I have an eject button. I don't want to use that shit. 11.59 meters, see? Should I do this mission or not? I don't know. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Fuck it. <coughs> Let me do it. I'm gonna do it to the pistol. Yeah. <coughs> I need to run a little bit, so... Plus, I need to check this uh, gun as well. 
to see how good it is you know why not wow <sighs> nah i don't even have the freaking i don't have enough uh... i don't have gravity here I mean, anti gravity to. Let me do the mission. Let me do it. I'm a good guy. I want to finish my mission. 1000 meters is not much. I mean, anybody can do this, you know? This is a good one. I'm also running. I'm a little bit faster than normal. It will take uh, 1000 years to go here, but it's all right. At least it's warm outside, you know, there are no aliens. It's okay, it's okay. What's the DPS on this uh, weapon, by the way? Effective range. 35 meters rate of fire 350 rotations per minute uh it's size one i really hope that next update will uh will get some dynamic events and stuff dynamic events what kind of that what are you thinking what kind of dynamic events whoa The turret was shooting at me? Like what happened on... Ah, like... Um, you mean like similar with Jump Town? <clears throat> with the invasion of the platforms. Oh look, there is one rock I, uh, here, but... Why they are keep shooting? You think I'll be able to take all the guards with one pistol? I really just want an excuse to use my bomber. <laughs> you, you bloody, bloody, you bloody. I'd like to see actually more weapons. <coughs> because as I said before, to be honest, maybe more, most of you who are into sci-fi games and sci-fi movies, <laughs> and space and blah blah and technology will agree with me that here it doesn't feel like it's 2952 look if you if you if you watch here on my screen it says server time which is the re reality now and if you check uni universe time it says just a sec. Wait, my, my beautiful white uh, wife Wi-Fi. <laughs> my beautiful white uh, white wife brought me a piece of pizza. A slice of pizza and um some pretzels so if you check here the universe time is february 7 three o'clock in the morning and the year is 2968 
2960. Do you guys think that this is this is this game feels like it's in 2968? Hey Mutai, well I'm back. I have beer and chips. Oh, I have pretzels and a slice of pizza, and I have cognac and wine, but I'm not gonna drink today much. But probably next week I'm gonna get drunk because I I have a boy. We have a boy in the family. We're gonna have a boy soon. <laughs> and I mean, what do you want to improve with a, within a gun? A bullet is still gonna hurt even if it's one thousand. Yes, but no, it's the effect, man. It's the effect. <clears throat> I want to see like guns, like Star Star Wars, Star Trek guns, uh, some. I want to feel like it's 2962 or 2958. I mean, listen, it's almost year 3000, dude. It's almost year 3000. And look at the armor. This armor, it's so... It's not even like... It doesn't feel like it's year 3000, you know? Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Hmm. exactly <clears throat> we have so many designs and shit like seriously you can also have freaking shield on you this is armor like uh, physical armor you can also have a shield on your body imagine that shield dude the shield the same the same shield that you can have on on the ships shields Mm. <clears throat> I could point out at least 10 flows on every vehicle and why is designed like something from someone who has no idea how of how military tech works exactly i mean the shield probably can work since the lower wise you don't have an engine so no power or you get cancer from the energy emissions i mean no you can have a battery on your freaking see we already have some some slides <clears throat> you already have some lights on your body but they are useless they are useless lights man I seriously, it doesn't feel like it's year almost 3000. It doesn't. No. Rifle ammunition has only slightly changed. I mean, <clears throat> it, we are still in 2023, you know? It's not much from 1,900 years ago, like 100 years ago. I mean, there is a lot of improvements. There are a lot of improvements. But still. We are talking about freaking year 3000, dude. Year 3000. <clears throat> and, and it only feels like, let's say, how, okay, maybe it's 200 years um, ahead. 
not like 1000 hmm hello dude is this gun doing something or what Yeah, dead. One more guy over here. Oh man, not the box. Whoa! I'm gonna mess you up! Rifle. Ooh. Where are you, dude? I could hold the four. 
I could hold a four hour speech on uh, sci fi universe and, on and their respective feasibility. Yeah, but at some point you hit a roadblock in which improving something is just physically not, imp not possible. Armor is always gonna be your primary protection. Solid metals and waves, waves are still the most effective form of protection. Same concept as a shield from 3000 before Christ Egypt. Or knight armor from 1200 years. Ah. Yeah, I mean, I only feel like uh, Oh, I have I already have two more weapons on me Where is he? I'm gonna mess you up. Is he upstairs or? There is one more guy somewhere, but... I think he is in an elevator. <coughs> so I can hear him from there instead. Yeah. Doesn't matter, mission complete. Yeah, I mean, I look cool. I look sexy. Let's go. Wow. What? I like a door on the other side. Ah, da, da. <coughs> what the?
A, mă duc pe jos că am venit cu bani în Defender și aici n-am un ăsta, nu pot să bag robot. Chiar are o grafică de invidiat. Îmi place mult. <coughs> oh, do you know what else they could add? So, for example, now you can uh, add, you can bring your the, uh, the uh, rover inside of your ship, yeah? What if? You can take a rover with your ship using a magnetic field or a magnetic something so you can go on top of your uh, rover and just pick it up. That's it. And you can go when, wherever in the universe you want. And then whenever you need the, um, the rover, you can just drop it. Um, then you land your ship and then do the mission. Oh yeah, I've died a few times in the bunkers because I don't know man, something It's year 3000 dude Do you know where you should be with the technology? Oh my god Imagine the weapons that you can use in 3000 Dude mm -hmm. Think about something, yeah Oh wow Oh wow, look If I zoom out <coughs> If you guys are watching um, You can see inside of the ship Through the freaking landing uh, ramp Because it doesn't spawn the graphics over there, look If I zoom in it's okay, but when if it's far looks like uh, you can see inside of the ship Want to read it but then again, <coughs> it requires me to actually play with people. It is kind of terrifying, but still, dumb ships are cool. 
Yeah. Wow. Some ships are so cool to fly. It feels so cool to fly the ships. At the beginning, I didn't realize that this ship is actually nice. I thought that eh, it's a shit ship, but actually it's a nice one. NPC. Mm. Oh, wow, look. We have a few people <coughs> who did bad stuff. Let's see. Okay, yellow. Mm. Everybody is, is at yellow. Uh, shall we go to Crusader? I don't know. Let's go to Crusader then. Because they are there anyway, so...
As um, checking something on Discord. Music slaps hard. Oh yeah. Oh wow! Al Capone, <laughs> the other guys. I don't know what happened with the other guys. I think they went offline, probably. But the other guy that I need to find is this one, and he's on crusade on uh, Hurston. I need to go back. Fucking hell! Oh, listen, this song. I love this one. I mean, <coughs> you said you are from Germany, yeah? I I used to listen a lot of uh, techno, especially uh, I used to like uh, and listen a lot of scooter. I really like scooter. Hmm. Apprehend. Another apprehension, let's see. Okay, this guy is here. Onyela. Before your time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 2000, 2010, even after. <coughs> I like Scooter a lot. I like Rammstein. I mean, you guys have uh, pretty good music. Oh, 
Rammstein is a freaking goat, dude. Unfortunately, I cannot play it on YouTube, but... Yeah. Oh, someone is... Oh? Someone fucked me up? He's trying to fuck me up? Uh-oh. Oh shit, look! Oh, nice. Look how the... Um, how it looks like. It's like a star. I'm trying to charge my phone. <laughs> and I cannot because of this freaking guy who... He sent PC. Nice. Okay. Okay, dude, time to fight. Where the fuck are you? Look, 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 look. Really? Scatter gun? These are these are NPC pirates, man. Yeah. <coughs> no problem, I kill all of, all of you. You worth nothing. You are nothing. You're nobody. Make you pay double. Let's see what you're gonna do. What you're gonna do? Oh, I'm afraid. <coughs> I'm afraid. What I'm gonna do? Help. You think that's gonna stop me? Don't make me laugh. Oh, I'm gonna make you laugh.
I'm gonna make you laugh. What happened? You need to do something. Oh yeah. Make me laugh. Oh yeah. It's not that. It's not only he's gonna stop you. He's gonna freaking kill you. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <coughs> Look who's talking now, baby. Waste of time with these guys. Waste of time. Waste. But even though I need to go and repair my ship. It feels like it needs some attention. Not much. Just a bit. Maybe here. Where is that 1.7? Come on. Ah. Okay. Where's my bounty? Oh no, my bounty disappeared. Ah. Uh, okay. It is what it is, no more bounties. Unfortunately. No more bounties. Should I take the groups? I like the groups. Would you like to assist me in this mission? Yeah, they're they're also basically on the index the entire time. <coughs> I'm gonna, I'm up for gunning down criminals. Join Discord. Let's go. <coughs> no more bullshit. It's time for some uh, action. Let's go. Let's go. Let's kill these motherfuckers. All right, did oh. I hear we're oh, uh, going uh, down a criminal? You scared me. First of, first of all, before you join and scare me, send an email and let me know. I never scared anyone. Why you you scared the shit out of me, man? <laughs> Instead of, do you know how how I like, for example, in the morning when I wake up. Yes. I, I, I don't like to be like uh, forced to wake up with a loud alarm or my wife screaming at me come on wake up and stuff no i like to be touched nice and be like come on wake up gentle you know you know yeah i'm not i'm the entire <laughs> opposite i i need a blaring alarm <laughs> that just shakes me awake why do you think i like stealth bombers that much don't see them coming and they're loud once they hit. Oh yeah. Those are bloody bloody. Okay, I'm gonna kill only the ones that are highlighted. Yeah. And let's see. <clears throat> Give me a second. I still, ha I still have to uh, pulverize Jenny McCauley. Some 
guy who probably thinks he's the best pirate in the system, but well. Oh, bring the best pilots in the system. They're, they're not gonna look too hot after being hit with like a 15 meter long oh. torpedo. I like the atmosphere entry, dude. I really hope that once uh, ship modularity is uh, implemented, that I can swap out the uh, torpedo bay for other bays. For example, get like a single size 12 torpedo or some uh, bombs. That would be extremely funny. Dead. Great, I missed the last drop. Special delivery. Special delivery. Oh, you died before to delivering my stuff. Oh no, whatever will we do? <gasps> no! <coughs> no! No! Just see fire on the stream. I pressed uh, the button by mistake and I've jumped from my seat. Oh, that ass. Oh. <coughs> wow. And I just hate the animation when when you do that because uh, it takes so much time yeah i know what you mean there's no get in the seat fast option even though you're like literally under fire and about to die yes oh wow well, i was i was lucky because my shields were at maximum this is the second time when it it happens because i'm trying to press on t to target the enemy and i press on the other button and then i just get out from my freaking chair and i'm like oh my god yeah, and your pilot's like, oh yeah, okay, there's no, there's no hurry, we have time. Oh yes, yes, yes. They really need to freaking adjust the animation on the, on the character, like, be a little bit faster because... Dude. I'm flaming. So you've said you've mastered the power of the lightning strike. Well, yes, mostly, sometimes. I still mess up, but I'd say about a good 70 to 80 percent of torpedoes are hits, at least on AI. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I'm gonna buy Saber as well. <gasps> oh, shit. There is a guy in that is red. Why? <laughs> it's a car. Biggest criminal. It's a freaking yeah. This guy has a crime stat. You know why? For speeding. I yes. You speed once and they just they just put a bounty on your head. It's time to do some repairing. Wow. It hurts, man. 
It really hurts. Ask me. You wanna see my rearmament bill every time I'm done? I think I'm gonna buy the Saber as well. I like that ship. Motan was playing with that one and it's nice. I think I need to go to Lordville or something. Not sure. I recently saw the Redeemer and holy lord. It do be having gunfire. That thing can call itself a gunship. Work. Hmm. What do we have here? Maybe try something. By the way, is it just me or a bounty rewards to find a loaf for what they are? Stop harassing the man for a car. Oh, that's why I couldn't go more because of the... <laughs> oh shit, it looks like this car is about to go through the Stargate. <laughs> True. Speaking of Stargate, I always loved the show because they're like, oh yeah, we have to like fight these aliens and magic. Space wizards. How are we gonna do that? Plastic explosives. They were always radical. Uh, blue sh Are you trying to pick the car up? Do you think I'm gonna die? I'm gonna explode or something? Well, depends on how the physics feel today. I mean, I shouldn't. But then again, we are playing Star Citizen. The question is, why is the color red? Maybe because the guy who last drove it had some sort of bounty and now his car got marked and he just abandoned it. Hmm. I mean, it's the same thing as when you go to Port Olisar, there's like always someone getting shot.
Interesting. Ten minutes of playing around with some poor guy's car. I've seen this before. Someone was trying to do it and uh, both ships exploded. I, tr I once tried to park an Ursa rover on top of a cutter. It did not end well. On the slightest. thing I actively hate is having to fight in asteroid fields, like the planetary rings. Oh, ah. It's such a nightmare trying, not trying to bump into everything. I am, uh, when I fight with those guys, I'm just trying to take them out from the asteroids, so uh, I have more space, you know? In the yeah, I don't have the luxury, because if they detect me, I have a uh, slight to medium-sized problem. Mm. <laughs> you are still with the Eclipse. Mm -hmm. I mean, ironically enough, the, the guns the Eclipse mounts, despite only being size 2, are surprisingly effective. Because you just have a lot of ammo on energy weapons. And the Eclipse is decently agile to outmaneuver like a Vanguard and that stuff. It's, it's really strange going into a dogfight with the stealth but... Hey, whatever works, works. I need to drink some water. 40... Some what? I'll drink some water. It's, it's 47 percent, yeah. When it's 47 or it's starting to drop like that, I'm like, dude, I need to do something. Interesting. It's interesting how the server uh, was so far. Pretty stable. The server was very good. Didn't crash, nothing. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna jinx I, it I, again, I, is it? I kind of expect that after uh, 10 years of development, but I, we're moving a little steps towards... <laughs>
Where is the robot? I want to... I didn't destroy it, so at least I can uh, drive it. <clears throat> oh yeah. Cargo bay. Nothing in the cargo. Hmm. No stealing four guys' cargo. It has a it has a weird sound. I'm trying to go inside. But I cannot steal it. Why? Because it's if, if it's open, I should be able to take it, is it? Maybe go a few steps, because I did see it light up blue a bit further over. The... I can only close and open the cargo. Maybe it's like anti theft. Bobby. Anti theft. Yeah, it's useless. Like, you don't have the car keys, sort of. Oh, yeah. But this should be hacked. <coughs> wow, the light that this freaking Banu Defender does. But no other ship makes more light than the freaking cart wall is it really that bright dude oh my days that ship dude makes so much light it's actually impressive the aliens are always up for a disco you see that's why I like alien stuff. We're never gonna agree on any sort of terms in that regard. <sighs> I pressed that button again. Fucking hell, man. Alien ships are funny and all, but... Have you seen the absolute ridiculous amount of firepower on a redeemer? The like firepower having small, on... super agile, skill-based ships is cool, but... Overwhelming firepower is a developed strategy, and the far flashier one. The firepower on Redeemer. I didn't check to be honest. No, so. I've just seen it actually because some guy was recently because uh, I witnessed a gunfight with the thing, and there was just gunfire going everywhere, which kind of surprised me because the ship is kind of small. I like how the Redeemer is exploding. Ah, you. Oh, wait. You are talking about Redeemer. I was thinking about Reclaimer. No, the rec I mean, the Reclaimer also looks extremely cool. No, man. Redeemer is shit. I was obsessed. It is? Yeah. I Ooh. was o I was obsessed with that ship for a while. Because I like the design and. Uh, the number of the freaking turrets that it has <clears throat> but when you fight and when you use it is actually very slow it's slower than the freaking andromeda it is yeah i just remember the website stating that one of the selling points of the redeemer was it having like the specialized thruster system so it's like a lot more agile and stuff no i have it if you want to fly it Sure, why not? <coughs> it just has a few attritions left because I've I've taken them out to use them use them on another ship. 
I'm not a combat master anyways. The thing is, the thing is why I'm so fond of the Eclipse is, uh, the simple fact I have the problem I'm not exactly good at dogfighting, and which means I basically have two play styles left. It's either uh, with the Eclipse, the stealth bombing, meaning just pulverize the enemy before they can even see you, or the second option, which is just brawling. You know, like World War II battleships brawling. Mm -hmm. Which is also why I'm kind of interested in the galaxy as like a large multi-purpose ship because like according to what they revealed it has a pretty sizable weaponry wait where are the bad guys they're afraid they've seen what you've done with their last five compatriots <laughs> Das überlasse ich lieber dem Profi. What? That was a Siri. She also wants to be a part of the stream. Yeah, my guys over here disappeared, man. <laughs> Maybe because. <coughs> he just it flew into a, an asteroid. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't want to witness the shame of being pulverized. He really liked the visual effect of Ban with the thunder. Like with the, with the quantum drive, like those... Call them like jelly fields you go through. That's pretty cool. Last target apparently also uh, did not want to face his owner. I think my contract is not on anymore. Is not because no, it, com it completed. It showed at the bo uh, at the top. Oh really? Yeah. If you go to history, you can see it uh, being completed. Interesting, but I didn't kill anybody. Only one. <laughs> Your reputation precedes you. <laughs> I know. They'd much rather crash their ship and <laughs> off themselves. I've only killed their leader and the other one suicide. <laughs> they decided a life of crime is not worth it uh... anymore. Let me jump to the location and kill the other bad guys. Are you in game? Yes, I am. Oh, let me invite you then in the park. Sure. So gonna. I'm still a bit busy at uh, Orison because I'm still playing around with the different torpedo types. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what which one to use. Yeah. So, oh, I mean, the thing is, the Argon 9 has the lowest damage mm -hmm. and the lowest, but is a cross sector torpedo, which means it's a lot less likely to get like uh, jammed and flared. Mm -hmm. And can also be dropped at a minimum range of 1 kilometer. The other two can only be dropped at 2.2 kilometers. Which is a mm -hmm. pretty significant difference.
most sci-fi thing about Star Citizen is the t-shirt with the wraparound uh, LED. It's not gonna lie, really cool. T-shirt with LED? Yeah. I what? just stopped by the, the, the clothes store out of interest and there is a shirt which has like two moving LED displays that wrap around the entire... Uh, uh, around the entire shirt. Mm. But I'm glad to see that even a thousand years in the future, jeans still exist. Well, one thousand years in the future, and if they still have LEDs, then it's cool. <coughs> LEDs are cool. Yeah. Most of them on a daily basis. They're pretty, pretty little things. That's what I've always liked about Star Citizen. Like, for me, the universe is extremely believable. Oh, there is a bot in the, uh... In the... Ah! Uh. Oh, this cognac is... He's a bad boy. Wow. He's even got a nickname. Maybe he thinks he's actually some until he meets with the uh, four attrition three lasers. Hello. Right. One was excessively agile. That was a wick little cut. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Honestly, I'm excited for the next big update with like the, the cargo refactor and everything they wanted to add. Because I mean, then. Cargo freighters are gonna probably become a lot more common, which means pirates are gonna be a lot more common, which also means escorts are gonna be more common. Oh, yes. We'll open up a whole new line. You think you're gonna do whatever you want? No, sir. Called my ultimate power fantasy in video games with no con uh, with no consequences in real life is following the law. Oh. Selling. Nice. <clears throat> Of course there will be escorts. Believe me, I'm gonna have escort tomorrow. <coughs> Ooh. Last time, uh, last year, I was like doing 80-90 uh, jumps uh, events and I had some nice escort dude. We I mean, were like... always amazes me about the game, just a possibility. I mean, that level of player interaction where some, or, as you've said, you have events where it's like, yeah, I'm gonna need an escort, and you have an actual physical escort. Yeah, I mean, I uh, there are, I know organizations that uh, provide the security and stuff for different events. <coughs> and the organization I mean, that... A, huh? 
It's gonna become a whole lot more interesting when uh, the bigger ships like the Erdos and stuff get properly introduced, because then uh, you'll actually need escorts and like smaller ship screens in order to protect the bigger <coughs> ships from the likes of me. Because if you don't have an escort, it's pretty much just like free game. Yeah. For any sort of stealth ship. I mean, the... the... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. What I like about this game, you can do a nice roleplay. That's... That's the one thing I've always missed about Elite Dangerous. You always just felt like... This weird outsider just like stuck inside the cockpit. Yeah. The game always felt so incredibly empty. You know, I escort the credit mail, la diverse case AI, depending, but not la 200 de mic cargo. La mai mult. Și depinde dacă este exemplu uh, organizație, atunci o să se ducă și nu o să plătească neapărat, o să facă bani pentru organizație. Some organization when they do uh, cargo stuff, yeah? They also mm -hmm. have escorts, but they act like one, you know, and they don't uh, actually pay the escorts. So basically all the most of the money are going into the organization uh, <coughs> budget. Got something for you. I never work without pain. I'm about all about following the law, but like I need to keep the lights on in my ship. Sort of parity. I have a big problem. I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Yeah, I just saw you uh, trying to land. I was really tracking this, space? yeah. <laughs> Got something for you. Dacă vine vreo organizație, da, depinde. Dacă sunt din aia... <coughs> um, cum să zic... Um, uniți? Vede, mă, organizația în care sunt e una dintre cele mai bune. <coughs> și avem multe afilieri și cu alții. Mai, cele mai multe din uh, America. Es ce trebuie. O să vezi mâine. Îmi fac eventul. Are you gonna attend to the event tomorrow? Uh, probably. To do tomorrow. Uh, I have the description on my server on the events mm -hmm. i saw the server uh, the, uh yes i saw the server i saw the event yeah just check it uh it will be around uh <coughs> six o'clock uh uk time zone okay, if that's my time zone what's what was the time now over there uh it's currently a quarter to 11 Almost 11. Yes, so it's 10:45. <coughs> yeah, it's 10:45. Here is 9:45. So it's not much difference. An hour more than I. No. Uh, yeah, I mean, sure. Why not? If I managed to wake up from my nap. At the time. I want to bring more 8090s in one place because because they're big, and because it's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. Because they're big and because they're big, you know. 
It's gonna end up in absolute chaos like the last time. The 8090 trying to crush you under its uh, landing gear. I'm fighting against the Hornet. Medium risk targets do not like maneuvering at all. Just look at how slow the Hornet turns. What is this? Buccaneer, I guess. Was okay. Ooh. Ooh, I was so close to the ground. Wow. Well, these small ships, they, their explosion is much better than the 8090 jump, to be honest. Yeah, that's always strange. You have like this giant, almost cruise ship. It explodes in like a small puff of smoke. <laughs> and then you have like this, this miniature single seat aircraft that explodes like it had a nuclear bomb aboard mm -hmm. for absolutely no reason. Have you seen when I've destroyed the um, 8090 with the railgun? Yeah, yeah, I was there. I was, <clears throat> so I was under the uh, 8090 at one point. Have you seen like how it, how the explosion was? It was like poof, and that's it. Yeah, I've seen like a little puff, puff of smoke. I was pretty we into upset. Like a snuff fire, that explosion. <clears throat> I was kind of upset on that, you know, because I I was expecting like. Uh, I really expect that I'm. I was expecting that I'm. I'm gonna die from that explosion, because I was on the ground. I expect like an explosion, uh, uh, like the bombs from the A2 would do. I mean, it would make sense for a ship that size, and not like. Oh Oof. yeah, that one as well. Uh, well, the A2 uh, he bombed bombed that a little bit far, so it's good that he didn't kill us because, yeah, because. <laughs> Problem. I don't have service beacons. Interesting. Yeah, they're a bit strange. Sometimes I get a dozen of them at once. Then there's sometimes where it's like none at all for an entire session. Yeah. By the way, do you think if you would use your physics correctly and like slingshot your uh, aircraft? space that you could use the a2 to hit an enemy ship in space i mean in theory it should be possible opening the bomb base releasing the bomb and at the same time uh breaking the ship slowing it down so it well the bomb gets flung out in a straight line kind of funny to use it that way also probably devastating Have you seen how uh, SpaceX or I don't remember which one, how they want to send stuff on uh, on the orbit with a slingshot? Uh, oh yeah, I've seen that. I mean, um, I mean it technically could work. Speaking in theory, because you're basically uh, using an oversized gun. Yeah. fire something into space that principle but the problem is 
the cargo would actually have to survive the trip at base. I was thinking about that, yeah. Like the G-Force. I mean, the thing is, don't get me wrong, the engineers at SpaceX have done some incredible thing. But I personally think under the, le the leadership of Elon Musk, they have suffered quite a bit. It's like, pointless project and... Uh, like you know like those prestige projects which only exist to like show off like oh look how cool my stuff is because the engineers they have over there they're extremely talented i mean they've landed a booster which normally just gets thrown away they've managed to land that thing on like a ship that's really impressive <laughs> but now they're forced on working out a solution on just how they built something that can survive being survive being launched at into space at like ten times the speed of sound. Do you know when I will be impressed? When? When they will actually go on the orbit without using the freaking rockets. Yeah, that's that's the biggest problem at the moment. So they could For use a freaking space spaceship like I don't I know. Mean, have you seen the comparison be uh, of the uh, of the moon rockets and the actual moon landers? Mm -hmm. Because the, the the rockets they used to get to the moon are absolutely titanic, but like the actual lander module which lands on the moon and then will obviously subsequently returns back to Earth, they are so incredibly small that just goes to show just how much energy we need to get off our little rock. And I mean, as long as we're still using solid fuel, we, well, we still have a oh, long yeah. way ahead. I just hope that maybe one day uh, they're gonna use a different type of fuel <coughs> that is much faster and much better than what we already use, so... I had a friend whose uh, father worked at the European Space Agency and was responsible for a satellite project, like a satellite that was supposed to monitor uh, the uh, emissions within Earth, right? You know, like the uh, the general... Um, how do you say it in English? You know, like the health of the world. Mm -hmm. Like monitor emissions and stuff. And the funniest thing is they found out after the launch they couldn't actually use the satellite for a bit because... Um, the actual rocket they use to bring the thing into space caused so many emissions that it just the data for a time. Which is kind of uh, indicative of the problems with uh, current day space travel. Yeah, I mean... <clears throat> but at least we are still there uh, trying to do stuff, you know? Oh. And I think that one day uh, we're gonna be able to travel much faster and cheaper and anybody could I mean, afford to do it you know people often say like oh humanity will wipe itself out within the next hundred years i don't think so humanity is way too resilient and stubborn to just we've always found a way somehow i mean you have to imagine a hundred years ago at in the year 1920 the first airplanes just barely made their appearance, right? And 50 years later, they send a man to the moon. Yeah. That's incredible on a scale of time. And I mean, the same is with aircraft. In the 1920s, as I've said, your average aircraft would go maybe 300, maybe 400 kilometers an hour. In the 1950s, they already reached, reached the, uh, the sound barrier. We will be there sooner or later. Hope I get to see it. I would like to be able to live like hundreds of years, like, or to be almost immortal, or actually immortal, just to see how the technology evolves and where we're gonna go. And I'm waiting to see if I'll be able to reach the year 2952 and see if the technology that is in Star Citizen will be better or less than the actually technology in that year. Uh -huh. Hey, maybe 
maybe the game would even get released by that year. So that's also something to look forward to. Oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. <coughs> Imagine you make a boon with the devil. He's like, oh yeah, you want immortality? Yeah, I'm gonna give you a boon. <laughs> you're gonna be immortal up until the point until Star Citizen releases. So you're just like functionally immortal. It's gonna be one of his worst deals he ever makes. But as I've said, the one thing I love about Star Citizen is since I've uh, had a lot to do with like technology and especially military technology, is that Star Citizen for me is one of the most believable sci-fi universes because what people often forget is that technology doesn't always increase as fast as it does now i mean you just have to look at the middle ages we almost had a thousand years of barely any technological development in between like the high-tech roman empire and the modern day yeah but uh, that one was like the beginning of everything you know but these days yeah, when but you have even compared to what came before you had the roman empire <coughs> which was just <coughs> extremely advanced i mean you have to imagine the egyptians actually had cranes and working long-range uh, transport meanwhile over here in europe we are still climbing trees and fighting over like, <laughs> yes, yes, random yes. plots of land and uh, the thing is with technology is technology at some point usually hits a roadblock I mean, at the moment, for example, I don't know how much you know about uh, computers, but you probably know that manufacturers, especially for processors like CPUs, often uh, give the uh, architecture in nanometers, right? It's like, at the moment, I think the, uh, the, the norm is like 7 nanometers, right? We started off like 10 to 20 years ago, we started off at like 90 to 100 nanometers, right? So much bigger per uh, mathematical unit and the problem at the moment is they reduce the size further meaning they can cram more power onto the same space but for each nanometer now they need exponentially more time to uh, develop that sort of stuff and that's why i think star set is actually quite accurate because i mean you've had in lore you have had like the big inventions like the jump drive, the faster than light the jump drive, but like at some point you just reach the end point where most uh, invention are, inventions are just incremental upgrades to technology. That's why like a lot of ships are ships are over two to three hundred years old in design because well they still functionally work. Yeah, I mean, you have a good point, to be honest. Price this 69mega.com really tries to... Dude, is, this is I, not how you freaking uh, advertise your porn website, mate. Not yeah, like this, man. Not like this. I like porn as well, but uh, not like this, man. Let me Let me kill this guy and then we're gonna discuss about porn. Ah, yes. <laughs> Deep conversations at the evening. By the way, for those that don't know, in Louisiana, uh, in the United States, in order to access porn sites, you now need to verify your age with an ID. Which is honestly really funny. Imagine and, and you're that like, was oh, yeah, I'm in the mood today, and then you suddenly have to pull out your ID. Or someone knocks at your door in order to verify your age. Talk about technology too much, otherwise I would hijack the stream and go on a four hour presentation on why Star Wars, Star Trek, and a myriad of others are the most poorly designed things to ever exist. With, of course, uh, pulling up the schematics, explaining detail one. Well.
Uh, I'm gonna finish this mission and I'm gonna... Come on, Cutlass Black, dude. I, you know that you're gonna die so fast. But they still try every single time. Imagine at some point they introduce a system where your rank as a bounty hunter essentially scares targets. So if you engage like a bounty, there's a chance that the escorts just flee. Pretty much saying like, nah, I'm not, I'm not gonna die here for this pointless stuff. <gasps> Pai is heading off to bed. Hey, Motai! Have a good night, Let's mate. Go. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to bring your ship if you want to come. <laughs> he lost an engine <gasps> and he's still trying to hit me that man is dedicated he should not be a pirate he would have so much more ahead in his life lol dedications dedication comes comes first I respect that we gotta respect the man and his craft <coughs> I respect dedicated uh, Kovalex shipping hub wow what was this dude what is this you never been to the Kovalex shipping hub? No. I actually picked up a mission. It's really cool. There's like, it's like this this damage station, and there's like this there's a mission where you essentially have to pick up a package from some disgruntled guy, and you explore the station going through it, and you basically get like a retelling of the events of what happened there through like audio logs and stuff. It's really interesting. It adds so much flavor to the place. Because you essentially always get to hear the audio logs of like the crew members, right? And they're like, oh yeah, we're close to having a party, we're having fun here. I'm close to finally getting back home. And then, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it becomes sad. Seeing what ended up with the station. Can you... Ah, this is an exploded station, so you, I cannot uh, repair uh, the ship or anything. This because it's inactive. There's currently two Erdus frigates at Olisar. What on earth are they? Panic. <coughs> Interesting.
Kovalex shipping is a really cool little thing. I always find it extremely soothing how the ship slowly entered into the atmosphere going from the like, uh, cruise Then you're slowly descending into the atmosphere Yeah <clears throat> I like when uh, they they go in the atmosphere and uh, you see that burnout, you know but that's something I've always missed in Elite Dangerous, which I love about this game. The planet, and especially the moons, despite being effectively empty, they look so amazing because they're pretty bright. Like, you can actually see stuff, they're not all gray. Yeah. They all have storms and weathers, and like, you have mountain ranges and you have deserts, it's so cool. The only, it's honestly pretty fun to just fly over a planet. My target just disappeared from this planet. Hmm. Ah, you you were over there. You were fighting someone. Yeah. Well, for now, they're not gonna live for long once I'm done. Anvil Herc. I miss him. <coughs> that is a very uh, nice ship. I, I like it, but believe me, it's much better if you have a co-pilot. The you mean the uh, the hurricane? Yes. I mean, yeah, most of its firepower is in the third, after all. Yeah, I mean, listen, the firepower that shit can do. With two people, it's... Oh, dude. Especially since the co-pilot uh, has a pretty much 180 degree uh, sphere of fire, which is insane. Oh yeah. Although I do kind of hope that rather sooner than later they allow the option of uh, slaving man turrets to the pilot's aim. Meaning you essentially have them like a gimbaled mount. Mm hmm Quick. 
By the way, have you ever noticed in bunker missions and like generally ground combat that sometimes the AI just becomes a terminator and just instantly beams you? I've had that happen. Terrifying when they just snap around and start pouring lead into your head. <laughs> I mean, I prefer to fight, to do PvP with the ships than do that because the um, PvP in bunkers is 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 not what I I like <laughs> because of I the mean, movement of the characters and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty lame. have arrived what's that a valkyrie i don't know i've so. i've killed the main person but now i'm i'm just just a valkyrie my rocket is witness me miss it entirely because i messed up my angle which ship do you have now Quote my eclipse, I, I don't have anything else. I mean, I still have a mustard sitting around, but well, that exists. Ooh, nice. Right, this is a hurricane. So kill it. Dog fighting wow, in the stuff. Oh, nice. Me. Beautiful. Oh, that's you. I thought something tracked me. You know, I was like, what? I wanted to see your ship. Ooh. Not that close. Ooh. <sighs> ah, I still with the Eclipse, nice. Have you changed the weapons on it or you, you are uh, still with no, the... No, I'm, st I'm still mounting the, uh, I think it's, yeah, the Badger laser repeaters. Since they have 126 shots. Mm -hmm. Really good. And the torpedoes, I'm still messing around with them. Well, components, it's all stealth grade A, so... There's not really much change on this ship, except maybe the paint. Nice. Yeah, you're way too fast for me. My top speed is 980. This is this maximum on cruise mode, 1199. 1199. Yeah. Jesus. You need to go to Crusader real quick to reload. I have one torpedo left. But the biggest thing I'm still having to learn with the uh, with the dropping torpedoes is the angle because you if you fire a torpedo from the side like you're watching the broad side of the enemy ship they usually miss like a smaller ship because well the torpedo of course has to compensate and it usually doesn't slow so you usually want to attack at like a maybe five degree angle from either the front or the back it will be very very interesting i'm still i'm i'm waiting for the 318 um but to be honest i'm not looking to see more ships or more firepower or anything i just want to see functionality performance i would like to see this is what, what do you mean 318 ship 
Hmm? Oh, you mean 3.18, the update? Yeah, but uh, what I'm expecting in the update is just performance. I, I don't need anything oh, else. Yeah. That's it. I want better performance. <coughs> Look, for example, now when I'm quantum jump, I have 111 FPS. It's not bad, but I want 200. Yeah, because I know what my PC can do. Um, or 240. I want yeah, when in, I'm on the planet, I want to have 120 minimum. Not 20 or 25. 120 I want. Uh, so I want to have a better experience. I want the characters, your character, yeah? When he's in a fight, like bunkers, blah, blah. To be able to be faster, to recharge, reload the weapon faster. And, oh, yeah. you know, uh, I mean, when I was playing Apex Legends, I was playing Call of Duty and any oh, other shooters. That's... Yeah, then you have yeah, then you have the Star Citizen characters who just take like two hours to reload. Yes. They're like, oh yeah, I'm in the middle of a gunfight. Oh, but I still have time. I can waste some time. Because I feel like I need to ask my enemy to wait for me to, yeah. to reload, you know? Ah, sorry, my friend. I'm... Or also, when you need to take out a medical syringe, you guys like, oh yeah, wait. Let me let me first uh, put away my weapon slowly, then uh, pull out my pen, and then maybe think about using it. But only maybe. Yeah. Meanwhile, you're also, of course, bleeding out. Yeah, but I agree with you. I'm lo also looking for a lot more functionality, especially with like ship specific stuff because at the moment the eclipse has the problem that the uh the stealth physically cannot work even in its basic form because the cross section is broken and is much higher than it should and well of course like stuff like the retractable weapons not being on at the moment and the cockpit being absolutely pitch black because somebody stole the light bulb <laughs> but i do have faith that there will be a lot more because I mean, at the moment, they're actually pretty good on uh, ships being pretty much already in the game and what's still in the concept. So they don't actually have all that left. It means they have more time. <laughs> at least I hope that. I mean, so far, uh, I think the ships are pretty good in game. They um, act normal. I mean, a part of the minor bugs that we can encounter. But yeah. so far, you can fight with the ship. You can do stuff They're with usable. ships. Let's, let's put it at that. Yeah, you can, you can use them. Exactly. Um, they have the design. They have what they need. They just need some improvements. It's true. I mean, that's the one thing that kind of... Uh always puts my faith back into the game being for example the corsair right it's like i think the most recent ship to release pretty much every single function of the ship can be controlled inside uh, from the cockpit from like the interaction mode um even like the variable wings you know moving the wings up and down which pretty much gives me a lot of faith that uh for the other ships, for example, as I've said, with the Eclipse, the wings that uh, fold in normally to reduce the size. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's just a matter of like, oh yeah, they just have to do a, a second task. And it's not in because, well, it's an older design. Feel me that kind of drift. Because I would be much more worried if in uh, 2023 they would still release ships with basically no um, interactib interactability. Yeah, because they want really to sell. <laughs> <clears throat> they want to sell uh, more because they want to make more money. So it's normal to make more ships. Otherwise, how are they going to keep the employees at work, you know? Yeah, uh, but that's what, one thing I also think a lot of gamers forget is that after all, they're still a business. They're trying to make money. So, yeah, true, the, true. Is, the one golden rule I play by is only buy what you can play, you know? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've seen people who I'm... I've seen people who bought uh, ships that are not even in game yet. 
Yeah, that's the thing with the concept tile. I mean, I mean, the thing is with the concept tile, it's a cool idea to get them at a reduced rate. But the thing is, for example, I'm extremely excited for the A1, right? Because it's like, a, it seems like my ideal mid-size uh, general purpose ship, right? Decent armament, functionality, and all that jazz. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I'm holding back on buying it because, well, the earliest, if everything goes according to plan, is uh, in June, they'll be out. And that's only a theoretical possibility. And that's the thing, well, I would never buy something I physically can't have. It's like, it's yeah. really strange to do. Oh, that was a botched landing. Yeah, I wanted to avoid the police because they wanted to scan me. Are you having illegal cargo aboard? <clears throat> nah, remain stationary. Scan in progress. Yeah, I mean, sure, scan anger. Why not? I mean, that's the same thing as with the uh, the uh, the galaxy, uh, the Ed galaxy, right? The the new ship mm -hmm. from the RSI manufacturer. I mean, the thing is, the thing costs almost three, four hundred bucks, and I, for the life of me, will never understand people just paying four hundred bucks up front for a ship that maybe gets released yeah. one or two years down the line. I mean, you can. I think you can uh, <coughs> take the money back. Uh, I think you can take the money back for that and buy something else. I mean, the ships that I already have, I can pledge them back or... <coughs> I don't know how it's called. <coughs> and um, I can use the money for a different ship. Yeah, that's something I also like with their policies that you can upgrade ships. And uh, actually also uh, buy the upgrades separately and sell them. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, that's pretty much the only reason I to get to an Eclipse due to the secondary market. Yeah. And the thing, I mean, that makes the game a lot more bearable because it's not like, oh, you have to pay 300 bucks for this Eclipse. And instead it's like, oh, well, you can spend a little money each month and like do a small upgrade each time. So you can get, get to see a lot of different ships and eventually end up at your $300 uh, ship. Uh, well... That's it for me for today. Incredible. No 30k, no game crash, no nothing. I am a, to be honest, I am... Five hours. Yes, man. Same. Five, five, exactly five zero zero hours uh, since I've started streaming and I didn't have a crash. Nothing. Chris and Robert smiling upon you. I mean, this was amazing, the experience, seriously, interesting, interesting, but yeah, I feel much better now, <clears throat> anyway, sir, 07, see you tomorrow, um, you can come to an event, you can come with, uh, if you want, you can come as a um, escort, you're gonna like it, believe me, more people will join, and everybody Nothing escorting a cruise ship with a military grade stealth bomber yeah so believe me you're gonna like it uh, uh more 1890s more 1890s should uh, join um should because even last time when i've created an, an event i mean there were like 10 15 people not not much but this happened um in a with a 50 people server not 110 yeah, yeah so that's the difference. I'm also, I'm also looking forward to it and expecting like just a barrage of giant white ships. Yeah, <coughs> that will be pretty interesting to see. Uh, like to see All like lots of motherships. Of yeah, to see lots of motherships in one place and, and shit like this. Um, yeah. All right, man. Take care. Take care. Oh seven. And oh, see you so tomorrow. We shall see each other around. Peace. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, 
humans and aliens and anima animals fish and chips <laughs> have a lovely evening my name is mr alex 07 see you tomorrow to the event 8090s jumps we're gonna bring a lot of 8090s i hope so because uh, there are a lot of uh, nice ships but tomorrow i would like to bring more uh, 8090s in one place just because it looks nice and we can socialize and it will be interesting this is the uh, way of a star citizen You are live session with Mr. Alex in the mix. <laughs>